smell of croissants and coffee in the streets, pizza, fashion, dolce vita. We're in the liveliest city of Italy, Milan. Who wouldn't want to have a student life here? Well, today we will discover the student's life in the biggest university of Lombardy region on the north of Italy and we will see if student's life in Italy really is a dolce vita or not. Let's figure it out. The University of Milan or Università degli Studi di Milano in Italian, people also call it Unimi or Statalia shortly. And I think the biggest advantage of this university is that it is located near Duomo, which is the very city center and it allows you to be in the heart of Europe and to have all these amazing experiences. So there are so many reasons actually to choose Milan as a city to live in and to study in. Milan is in fact the capital of Lombardy, one of the most dynamic and international areas in the European Union. It's also a business center of Italy as it's the leading city for investments and technological research and innovation. Some people even move here from Rome as Milan is considered a city of opportunities. The University of Milan counts around 66,000 students and actually I'm currently one of them because I'm doing my master degree in communications here and here you're able to choose among 140 programs as the university provides a wide range of fields for study. Well, let's go inside. Guys, I'm actually surprised now because I didn't need to use any electronic card, pass card in order to enter the university building. In my Russian and the US universities, I also studied in the US and in Russia, we would always need to use our student cards in order to enter the university, but here I guess you don't even need it and anyone can go inside. Guys, I was walking by in the university and you know what I found? A church inside of a university. I can't believe that this is inside of a university. Wow. This is really unusual. The university has lots of inner courtyards, little gardens, and now you can see it empty, but usually there would be so many students eating, studying, just chilling between classes. So nice, actually. Unfortunately, we can't see the life here. The universities in Italy don't usually have a canteen, but they have a number of cafes and restaurants all over the city where students are able to eat with a student card. And if you are on a scholarship, you can eat for free. And it's pandemic time, so I usually study at home and I never come here. And I've never used this card in order to eat in a cafe, but let's try now. With my scholarship, I'm supposed to have a free access to refectory services. So let's see what I can get here. It's Italy, so I guess I can get a pizza for my lunch. Uh, ciao. Uh, posso usare questa carta? È la prima volta che uh, vorrei questa pizza. Quattro formaggi, forcino. Quattro formaggio. Mm. 
Italy. <laughs> so I took pizza quattro formaggio for cheese, my favorite one. Thank you, my university. <laughs> it was for free. It was a great lunch at the university restaurant. We took two pizzas for my videographer as well. That's how Italians eat pizza and that's how not normal people eat pizza. How Italian. <laughs> UNIMI is the top Italian university in most international rankings and it's the only Italian university among the 23 prestigious institutions that belong to the League of European Research Universities. So, how do I get to study here as an international student, you're gonna ask? And the University of Milan offers a number of exemptions from tuition fees. For instance, you can apply for excellent scholarships. Excellent scholarships allow you to study completely for free, and you're automatically considered for it if you're applying for a master degree here before June, which means that you don't need to fill out any additional forms. You will be automatically considered for excellent scholarship if you apply for Statale University. That was a merit-based scholarship, but you can also apply for need-based scholarships. For instance, the DSU scholarship, uh, which is calculated on the basis of your citizenship and economic situation of your family. And every international student who studies here in Milan, whom I know, studies with this scholarship. No one pays for their education. The competition isn't very high. And I actually talked about uh, the process for applying to this scholarship, all the documents you're gonna need in my other video. If you watch that video, you will be able to study in Italy for free, so go to the link below the video. This was a small tour of the University of Milan. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss my next videos about life and education in Italy. And in the comments write, what do you think about this university? Is it different from the ones in your country? How is it different? Because it's interesting to know about the universities in various parts of the world. And see you in my next videos, guys.